realizing that you can also learn from us. Because if you talk of malaria and other things, maybe we are the best, you might not know that. But your immunology would be helpful to answer the issues that we have here. So that symbiotic partnership, uh, the equity and respect is very important. But I think we also need to look into equity within the research investments that we do. The next generation of scientists, the younger people are often not involved, uh, even when we have sufficient funding um, uh, within the African context. So I think we need to be looking at equity across gender, across uh, you know, uh, generations, uh, as we do these investments in the longer term. The question for me has always been, to what extent African materials and African collaborators are visible, acknowledged, documented, and rewarded. And to the second part of the question, how can our understanding shift through collaborations across continents? I think in three intersecting ways. I mean, firstly, I think we need to know and understand our histories. Um, European and African researchers should know their disciplinary histories. Um, they should know the historical intersections between local African realities and global knowledge production so that we deepen our understanding of the roots of unequal partnerships of today and funding models, and we can sort of develop practical solutions. Second, we must commit to long-term issue-based partnerships and building equitable communities of practice. Finally, quick point, we need reciprocity in collaborations. I think that we need really to, to, to use students and young researchers also to to, to create a platform for more equitable co collaboration. I mean, uh, you often say uh, a sentence that I remember from me, you, see, you say that our students should be able to see the world through the eyes of another. And then this is extremely important for what we are going to do in the future, I believe.